Hello, you're good. <laughs> I first want to ask, your coach has been saying three weeks ago the team wouldn't be able to win games like this. So how does it, how does it feel to see that you guys have improved to this level and was able to pick up such a win like this? It's huge. Um, <clears throat> like you said, he's been he's been reiterating that a lot. And I think it's a lot to us and how hard we've been working. We've been coming in here every day, practicing really hard and just making each other better. So it's it's huge. Yeah, like what JC said, you know, we've been coming in here just learning the little things, how to play together, how to trust each other, and then on top of that, just working hard every day, making sure that every practice is, you know, getting us ready for the games. Explosive game today. Can you talk about how the atmosphere and just the momentum in this game just helped to your play and your performance? Yeah, um, honestly, as we know, like I've been struggling the past couple of um, games, but you know, I kind of knew like this game, my team needed me no matter what. And you know, we weren't, we refused to lose this game. So I knew I had to do everything that I could just as far as rebounding, being a good teammate, making sure I got the good looks, the good passes and stuff like that. So that's really all I was focused on. The atmosphere was great. Obviously having good ener ener energy around me helped me kind of keep that going. But you know, just kind of playing for my team, that's really what motivated me. Cody, I will preface this by saying I'm not asking you about the refereeing, but <laughs> that third and fourth quarter, you were getting hit a lot inside. Mm -hmm. Shots weren't falling. How did you push yourself past that adversity? There was a time where I think you went up to attempt a shot, missed it. I think you thought you were going to get hit, yeah. and you turned around and kind of shrugged. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you just kind of went off. How did you put that adversity behind you to kind of continue to? Uh, JC. <laughs> um, <laughs> JC, you know. Um, she always just keeps me in good spirits. Uh, she knows how I can get. Um, the team knows how I can get. Um, but she really does a good job just kind of, you know, putting me to the side and just letting me know, like, hey, it's going to come. You know, don't focus on the foul. Focus on the shot. Um, just making sure that, you know, she's just keeping me up, keeping my spirits up, especially in a game like this. She does a great job of doing that, and I really appreciate that. Well, for you, JC, how much growth have you – what did you say to, to Cody, and then how much growth have you seen in that from her since she got here when she was 17? Yeah, she's come a long way. She's – I mean, she had a heck of a game today, and, and she does so much for us and so special and important to this team. But um, she does a great job. She's giving me too much credit. She does a great job of keeping her composure like she did today, and it was – we needed her to. So she did a great job of that, even though, she, like you said, she probably was getting banged around a l little bit down there. But I told her it was eventually going to come, and she's eventually going to go off, and, and she did. So we're glad she did. She helped us win today. And uh, Cody, question for you. On, on the other side of that, when you do get fouled and you get an and one opportunity, it seems like it just makes you hit another level. Is there a way you can describe how you feel when you hear that whistle <laughs> and the layup? It's like an outer body experience. I don't know. Um, I'm just very vocal, as we all know. But um, <laughs> I feel like an and one is just like the best thing in the world, especially <laughs> when you have this kind of crowd. It's just like everyone is rooting for you. You make the bucket and you get a foul. It's just. That's LeBron stuff right there. Like, <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> and, uh, for JC, uh, can you talk about uh, you're down 12 points uh, later in the game? Can you talk about just that comeback and uh, was anything anybody said or what were your, what were folks saying on the court to you know get you back into that? Yeah, that's just we have that grittiness grittiness in us, and I think you know that's been there throughout the years, and this team has it too. And I think um, we've been doubted in that area, and I think you know we, like Cody said, we were going to refuse to lose, so we just stuck with it, stayed together, and um, really important in that big of a game. And I didn't even know you said we were down 12. In our minds, we were just fighting to get back. Um, that was our main focus. For both of you, I mean, this atmosphere was incredible today. Network television, over 18,000 in in the arena tons watch I mean what was it like to be a part of this Cody um, it's a blessing um, you know we've had a lot of accomplish accomplishments the past two years and this goes for one of them too um, you know but at the end of the day like we we really just had each other and playing an atmosphere like this together and you know everybody on the same page it was really cool it was really a really great blessing yeah, we got, I mean, you guys have heard it before. We have the best fans in the lands, yeah. and they showed out today. They, they were did. amazing. They changed the game. It's one of the, maybe the loudest atmosphere we've played in, so it was amazing. And Cody, I have one more for you real quick. You're good. Um, I remember this game last year when it came down to the end. There was some stuff going on along the side with the fans, and I saw your face. You're smiling now. Have you thought about that moment, and has that fueled you guys to get this one done? Uh, for sure. It definitely has. Um, this game was personal. This game is very personal. Um, and I think we responded well. For both of you, just how do you think this game can springboard you all as you kind of continue in this stretch of Big Ten play for the rest of the season? Yeah, this is a great accomplishment for us, great win. Um, 
we came in, you know, knowing we were going to work as hard as we can, and, and we were really proud of each other tonight. But uh, enjoy it today and then move on. We got Big Ten's unbelievable. The conference is really good, one of the best. So, um, like I said, we'll enjoy it today and then move on to the next one. Obviously, a lot of wins, but just given the stakes of this one, number two team coming to town, you know, the environment here, what does this win mean for you just in terms of your career and just the experiences you've been able to have at Ohio State? Yeah, it's special. Like I said, it's it's something we, we were excited for, looking forward to, and, and going out there and doing it and executing it is a whole other thing. So I'm really proud. Everybody played great today. Um, every single person made a difference today, so I'm proud of everybody. But like I said, Big Ten's no joke, so um, enjoy it today and then be ready for the next one. Obviously, Caitlin is going to do what, what she does. Um, when you are planning to, to go against her, what is kind of the thought process? You let her get her, I mean, not let her get hers, but you know she's going to get hers. You try and shut down everyone else. I mean, kind of how do you approach They this? move really well off the ball, um, whether it's face cuts, back doors. They, they don't stop moving. So we knew that coming in. We knew we were going to have to, you know, obviously be heavy in the gaps against Caitlin, but also have to see both. And I'm um, proud of everyone. We did a really good job of that. And then rebounding down the stretch, too, we made a big difference. You guys got into a little early foul trouble at the beginning of the game. How do you make sure when players like Celeste or uh, – uh, Taylor, she's not theory, sorry, but um, when they're both not able to have to stay on the bench because they're getting a few fouls, the defense stays together and doesn't let a player like Clark go off and mm -hmm. make the lead too big to handle. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, obviously it's, an, it's unfortunate, but the people coming off the bench um, and, you know, kind of replacing them for the time being, um, this is like what we do. Um, everybody on that bench is ready any given moment. So um, props to them for always staying ready. And, you know, they obviously helped us um, coming in. But, you know, this is what we do. We, we know how to play, play together. And that's really all it took was us playing together and just helping each other out. So. <clears throat> One last thing I want to touch on, three-point shooting. Against Maryland, you guys really struggled, but it really picked up in this matchup. You had some key threes. So how big was that you guys were able to get that together for this matchup? It was huge. I think we usually we always focus on things we can control and how hard you know we work out there in our effort. Um, but like you said, we struggled a little bit during uh, Maryland, and we kind of knew we were going to get some to fall tonight. And you know, you know, when you're a shooter, you just got to keep shooting, and eventually they're going to go in. Uh, for both of you guys, what changed in that 12-point swing? What changed for you guys defensively? You guys started forcing turnovers. What? Uh, back to Tom's question. I mean, what what changed? Did someone, somebody say something, or what changed on the defensive end? No, I think, like I said, it's that grittiness in us. I think uh, there came a point where we flipped a switch, and we knew we were going to win the game, and we knew what we had to do to do it. So being in the gaps, being super disciplined on defense, and then grabbing the rebounds, and, and just making sure, too, we're helping the helper and everything like that. So that was our – we definitely executed it there, and we needed it. Well, sorry, one more thing. Um, when you're attacking a defense like a 2-3 or 1-3-1, one, Obviously, you want to swing the ball around and, I mean, try to get in the paint. But you guys did a really good job of uh, finding the open man on three. Do you guys want to – were you guys looking to attack a little bit more? I know, Cody, obviously, you were. Um, it was really all about the read. Um, you know, I was actually telling JC in the game, like, um, you know, stay on my right side because that's usually where I'm going to drive and they're going to just have to decide whether they want to take me and double-team me or – you know, take Jace and leave me open one on one. So it was really just about the read. Um, you know, I had a couple kicks. Um, I had a couple, you know, feeds to the perimeter. But honestly, just reading the defense. <clears throat> and you talked about players coming off the bench and being ready. Uh, you're down eight points, and Emma Shoemaker comes in for a very short period of time in the game overall, but gets the ball twice, makes both three pointers. Mm -hmm. How big was that for just the the game not getting away from you? Huge, huge. Um, she stepped up big time. She, I told her she was gonna, you know, she was gonna have to come in and make a difference, and she did. So I'm proud of her, and and she was ready for that moment, no doubt. Made us proud. Yep. Any last questions? 